Well, folks, uh, when we're talking about hollow training, we're talking about uh, pressure and the release of that pressure to get these donkeys to do what we want them to do. Um, and that's key. Uh, and understanding when to release the pressure, that's the most important part. Timing is everything. Uh, if I'm if I'm putting pressure on this donkey and he's, he gives me just one foot, I release that pressure so he knows that he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. You can confuse him by pulling too hard. And uh, with a donkey, if he's already at a uh, at a at a, a stressful situation like a, a water crossing or a tarp like we have on the ground or something like that, and you put too much pressure on him, this donkey will shut down. Uh, we've all seen the old picture of the prospector pulling on the 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 burrow sitting on the ground and you know uh, that's what will happen they'll just they'll just shut down they'll sit down they'll keep pulling uh, the harder you pull the harder they'll pull all right so it's important to know when to release that pressure the harder you pull uh, does not mean the faster they're going to work for you it doesn't work that way with the donkey so pressure and release are important know when to release that pressure which is a instantaneous so i mean you've really got to really got to watch the animal to know when to release that pressure. Uh, other folks uh, also use uh, uh, food rewards. I don't call them treats. I don't like treats. Um, food rewards, the same kind of deal. Uh, you want to make sure you give them that food reward uh, exactly when they when they do what you want them to do. Personally, I don't use it because of what I do with the donkeys. Um, I'm packing with them. I'm riding them. So um, it's not something that, that works into my training. Um, that I do so uh, I really all my training focuses on uh, respect for the halter and that comes into pressure and release then the other thing uh, some folks do is you know give them scratches I do this a lot I'm always loving on them I'm always telling them good boy and talking to them um, and you can always tell that he like he's dropping his head he's 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 showing me he's he's you know he, he enjoys that that's kind of a, a sign that he's he's being um, subservient to me I guess you could say when he drops his head and so they do enjoy it. So uh, it's also an important uh, part of training is to know when to scratch them. Okay. Uh, some of the mistakes I've made when I'm when I'm giving them attention like this and physical uh, touch is that I um, I did it the wrong time. So yeah, as human beings, we want to give people encouragement, right? I mean, so if we see if we see the donkey stressed out about something. Uh, we'll come back and say, it's okay, you can do it, boy, you can do it, you can get across that bridge, you can do it. And we go back to pull and he still stands there, okay? He doesn't see that as encouragement, okay? What, what this donkey sees that as, as, oh, they're going to scratch me while I'm standing still, so I'll keep doing that, okay? So you're totally confusing that donkey when you do that. That's not when you want to give them scratch it. They don't understand encouragement. That's a human trait, okay? That's not a donkey trait. All right, so be careful about... Um, uh, um, scratching them in the wrong time okay that's that's another thing giving them affection i like to give them like if if i'm walking across the tarp there and 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 he was just learning and we got across to the middle and i want him to stand there for a second then i might come over and give him a scratching if i'm in the saddle and uh the donkey's turning like i want them to do or they're crossing a the bridge or something like that i might reach down while they're doing it and give them a scratch uh, so they they can associate that positive reinforcement with what you're doing at that moment and uh not at, at, at the wrong time. So when we're talking about halter training and we're talking about uh, pressure and release, timing is important, okay? So you gotta make sure you, you know when to release that pressure so that you're communicating uh, with your with your animal in the, in the right way, okay? So that's just a little tip for uh, for halter training uh, and knowing really how to do it and, and knowing when to release that pressure, okay? Hey, thanks for watching and uh, please, by all means, go to my YouTube channel there and, and subscribe. Thank you.